hello guys and welcome once again to this channel the video that you are about to watch is regarding an incident of shooting that took place at ladik Spare parts market in lagos nigeria and um, i'll just give you a little bit of background about uh, what this market is about and um, ladik Spare parts market is by every judgment the biggest spare parts market in nigeria and indeed the whole of west africa large Please sit back watch the video and after the video we will take time to analyze the whole situation and discuss our opinions in the comment section please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe these are amazing ways with which you can support our channel thank you very much and see you at the end the ladipo incident i told you just, just actually happened that it was an overreaction incident Learned that a military guy, military officer, and I went to buy some parts. They know that they pop in a spare parts, uh, motor spare parts, or vehicular spare parts. So, vehicular spare parts market that a military officer went there now to buy. And the parts that the military officer procured so did not fit into what he needed it for. And it was returned to be replaced, alternatively, the money to be refunded. And this is not, which did not happen, and didn't go down well. That was what Lada went into that. So, and because of that, maybe a shooting incident happened. But to the best of our knowledge now, three people were injured, rushed to the hospital, so no life was lost. No single life. So, for me to see it on papers this morning on media, that five people were killed, so to the best of my knowledge. And I actually had so a discussion with the commander of the Air Force at the Kedja there now about it. So the military, you know the military, you have the Navy, the Air Force, you have the Army. So they narrow down to one part of the military, what is the Air Force. So they are conducted our investigation too. So because OP Mensa military, I mean OP Mensa Air Force team. So the military is conducting the investigation. I would not want to say anything that may jeopardize that. But to the best of our knowledge, as a police officer, three people are injured and no life lost. Oh my God. What you basically just heard is Nigerian police at its best concluding about an incident without proper investigation what is wrong with asking questions what about going to the Ladibo market speaking to the chairman of the Smoto Spear Parts Association at Ladibo the eyewitness report, as you can see in the video, is that the soldiers bought motor spear parts maybe over a year ago or a little less than that, but for a while. And then when they came back for that to be changed, I think initially there was an issue, but then later on they reached the agreement. But in the process of resolving this whole issue, I believe in the office of the chairman of the Moto uh, Parts Association at Ladipo, in the area where this incident happened, there was a little bit of uh, altercation. Somebody was slapped. And then I understand the soldier, or from the eyewitness report, the soldier then went back to the barracks, brought more soldiers, and vehicles and then they came back and that will show in the next video that you're about to see, about to see then the shooting and then people killed and then a law enforcement agent spokesperson comes on national television to deny what the killings that were on the video the shootings that were on the video and he said it, it was a case of a case of an overreaction. It is a big shame that Nigeria it is what it is. Very big shame. Look at the lives of people that were lost. And if what the police in a country can come out to say is that nobody died, it was just misunderstanding. And that he was surprised to see reports on national dailies that people lost their life. That as far as the police knows, three wounded, nobody lost their life. Then if you trust such police, then you must be wasting your time. However, let's see the eyewitness reports 
and let's watch the video of the incident and then we come. Oh boy, now strike blood, these people they fire out. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Hey. I got time before I need that. I saw you and I go Go now, when I will not go away, maybe I pure be. May both be Afra, can't have a saggy. I'm only a boy pure be. I'm only a boy. I will come up here. I am going to go now. Oh, go. When you need a gun, I'm not going to go. Maka, you know, 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 you they you have to talk about this. 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 You I can never have a good I can never Uh, because we on social media, everyone in all over the world. We have a lot of market in the Mushi local government. Ebendi been doing a zoo here. I'm done with the anima here. Now, Panama Sina has got engine for since last year. Where they catch and Jerry Hanging has got last year. Be the bobber. Now, what to see me? What to see me? What do you mean? I try not to be a friend. I try not to be a friend. I try not to be a friend. I try 
Man, me je bo bariade. Avia was cut. Biko, kere, kere. ndi Fulani a mis un peu de field. Il a short time. Il a short time. Et où est-ce que tu es? Je suis un peu de temps. Je suis un peu de gouvernement. Je suis un peu de temps. 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 Hey! What With the four other people. And we are Okay, we go quick. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to This is a time for you and me to wake up and fight for our children, our children's children. As him now, Ogua, Ogua, come on, come on, be a friend. Ma ucho kwe ya tu ya diara vatu kada. Any Nigerian who is still hanging around waiting for 2023 to change Nigeria is a fool. Line 20 daily faro to me up and ask them to become president of Nigeria. 20 of, of me, 20. Multiply their brain power by 10, factor of 10, and then force them to operate the 1999 constitution with the governance system that, it, that is enshrined in it. We shall fail spectacularly. The problem of Nigeria can never be resolved by personnel changes. The system is designed with impunity undergirding it and it can never deliver anything positive to the Nigerian peoples. Be those Yoruba, Ausa, Igbo, Fulani, whatever they care to be. Make an Igbo man president of Nigeria in 2023 and force him to operate the, two, uh, the 1999 constitution, complete waste of time. Indi Igbo will continue to suffer the brunt of the wickedness of the Nigerian state. Every Nigerian is rendered stateless by the 1999 constitution. It is an iniquitous, wicked, and evil document. It has nothing good for the Nigerian people. And the longer we continue to fool ourselves believing, and let me enter one quick caveat. Our rulers are actually very intelligent when they care to be, especially when it comes to their own preservation. And I know as a fact, that they are already making noises about restructuring in Abuja, the May Snatcher and the Lawan and that one that calls himself Baja. All of them are sat there running Elta Skelter, cobbling together some lies that they intend to sell to us as uh, constitutional, what do they call it, amendment. Let's be clear. You cannot continue to build on top of lies. You can't sustain that lie. And as long as justice is missing in a place, you continue to have strife. We need to tell ourselves the truth, and that truth is that the, only, the closest we can come to normalcy in Nigeria is to have a return to the original agreements that founded this country. Those are, agreements are very clear in their fundamentals. One of them, federal system. 
Nigeria is today not a federal system. Let's stop lying to ourselves. The word federal was brought to life by the American election. Each state has its own electoral body because it is essentially a country within a larger country. That was what our fathers agreed. Nobody agreed the situation where a clueless man would sit down inside a rock in Aso and begin to issue edicts and dictates to every other person. Nobody, nobody signed on for that in 1960. All the constitutional conferences beginning from 1948 all the way to the 1951, all the way to 1960, each and every one of them was very clear and unambiguous. Nigeria was meant to be a federal system based on parliamentary democracy. There was, it wasn't by accident that our fathers settled on, them, on parliamentary democracy. They wanted to make democracy as close to the people as it could be. So it simply meant that if you're a parliamentarian, you knew your people, your people knew you. It was the aggregation of the parliamentarians that determined who became the prime minister, and it, they, they were also the ones at the regional level who determined who became the premier. So democracy was devolved. It was easier for the people to become involved. What we have today become a nation of liars who readily accept okay. every uh, lie that we are told. Uh, uh, Dele, uh now you have seen the eyewitness account of what actually happened. You have also seen videos of people who were killed live before they would tell you that it's fake news. Now, make your own judgment. If Nigeria as a country has become a place where uh, two people get into altercation, the other one has access to, or because he has access to AK-47s and to national military equipment, he goes and calls his brothers and they come with arms and kill those that are armless. And then... They are also defended by law enforcement agencies. Um, their actions are protected. Nobody speaks against it. The dead will bury their dead. And one Nigeria continues. Well, I leave you to make that judgment yourself. Is that a country that you wish for your children and for your children's children? Well, if it's not, then think about what you can do to exonerate yourself from such doom. Nigeria is a country where shedding of blood means nothing anymore. The life of Southerners in Nigeria, especially the Igbos, I must stress that, means nothing to anyone. The Igbo politicians don't speak out even when their brothers are killed. They are just more comfortable. And it is easy for those who are in control of the Nigerian military to take AK-47s and military equipment that were bought with taxes of the same people they are going to kill to kill them without remorse, without no fear of any sort. It's just become rampant. Well, if that is the Nigeria of your dream, unfortunately, it is not the dream of so many who call themselves Nigeria today. I would like to know what you think in the comment section after watching this video. Um, let's get to the comment section. Tell us what you think. Like, share, and kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. And those are the simple ways that you can support what we do. Thank you very much and see you on the next one. Bye.